YouTube, I'm Jacob Beach. Today, I'm here to talk to you about a type of knife that's very near and dear to my heart, and that's the large chopper. In my opinion, the large chopper allows you to replace multiple tools in your bag uh, and to ultimately save you weight. A uh, good large chopper, chopper will be able to do small finite chores as well as large chopping, battening, and stuff like that and be really a multi-use tool that uh, just simplifies your bag. Everything's about simplicity when it comes to survival. Today I have uh, five very famous large choppers. The Becker BK9, the Ontario RTAC 2, the Ontario SP-10 Marine Raider, the Ontario SP-5 Survival Bowie, and a traditional Nepalese kukri from Exkirka Kukri House. All of these knives have their own strengths and weaknesses, and what I'm going to do is put them through a series of tests to see which one comes out on top for the best bang for the buck. Today's test is going to be chopping. Today I also have a surprise contestant, uh, and I think it's one that you guys will appreciate. Uh, between each section of chopping, I'm going to give myself quite a long break, so although this will not be a scientifically perfect comparison of chopping, it will be about as accurate as I can make it, and I think that it will uh, be a good tool to help you decide which knife that you like the best. Uh, knives will be rated on uh, two conditions. One is their ability to chop, and one is comfort. A knife that can chop really well isn't worth anything if it can only chop really well for five minutes because your hands all tore up. So those are the two things that we're going to rate today. Uh, all of the knives will be given a point or rated on a point scale. And then uh, for our next series in the show, we'll do battening and so on and so forth. And in the end, after a few videos, we'll find out which of these knives reigns supreme. Check it out. All right, first up, the BK9. Next up, we have the Ontario Knife and Tool RTAC 2. See how she does. go. All right, next we have the Ontario SP-10 Marine Raider Bowie.
not cutting. Bouncing. I guess that's as dumb as it's gonna get. Time for a new two by four. All right, next up from Ontario is the SP5 Survival Bowie. Hopefully it does a little better than that SP10 did. knife. Now we're going to try a traditional kukri from Nepal. This is a 10 and a half inch blade X Gurkha kukri house traditional service number one kukri. Hey guys, I don't know what happened with the Marine Raider in my first trial. It did extremely poorly, so uh, in case there were any unknown variables such as the 2x4 or anything else, we're going to give it another go here. So bad. All right, guys. So as promised, we have a surprise contestant. This knife will not necessarily be ranked with the others, as it's not in the same category. But uh, I thought I'd bring it out here and show it to you, anyways. And that's the X Gurkha Kukri House 18 and a half inch three Chira Kukri full tank. Let's see what this bad boy will do. Two-handed, of course. So there you go. One hit. Alright, so in the comparison of these five knives for the chopping uh, competition, they'll be uh, graded on two criteria. The first is outright chopping ability. Simply, the less numbers to chop, the better. And the second is comfort, which is most more subject, subjective. All right, so in first place for chopping power was the Kukri. It only took 16 hits, so it was awarded five points. The Artac 2 took second place. It took 33 hits and was awarded four points. The Becker BK9 took third place with 43 hits and so it gets three points. The Ontario SP-10 took fourth place. On its first attempt, it got 79 hits. On its second attempt, it got 40 hits. So a total, it earned a total of two points. The Ontario SP-5 got last place with 53 hits 
and was awarded one point. Comfort was a bit of a different game. Again, the Kukri got first place. That knife was made to chop, and it chops well, so it got a total of five points. The RTAC 2 and Becker BK9 tied for second place. It's very hard to pick a winner for comfort between those two knives, so they were both awarded four points. The Ontario SP5 got third place. For three points. I was actually quite surprised at the knife. It was very nice. The SP-10 came in last. Even when it was working properly, it was uncomfortable. It transmitted a lot of vibrations to the hand. It liked to bounce, and it just didn't seem to chop well. Uh, I don't know if it's the blade geometry, the weight distribution due to the large clip or the guard, whatever it was, Compared to these other four knives, it just didn't chop well. So overall, so far in this competition, the Kukri is taking the lead with 10 points. The Ontario RTAC 2 is in second place with a solid 8 points. The Becker BK9 is trailing very closely behind with 7 points. The Ontario SP5 Survival Bowie is in fourth place with four points and the Ontario SP-10 Marine Raider Bowie is holding up the rear with a close three points. Our next test will be battening. Uh, so stick around, check it out. If you enjoyed this video, please rate it, like it, and subscribe. Have a great day and I hope to see you soon. Thanks.